Hello, 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 and happy Motivational Monday to all of my Aquarius. This video is for the 10th of April through the 10th of May. So this week, you already have the questions. If you watched uh, Sunday's video, you have this the questions from Sunday's video, which is dated April 9th through May 9th. That's going to help you get through this week to help you to stay focused. Now, after we're currently in a waning gibbous moon phase, Aquarius. And so after the moon has reached its full peak, it starts to wane, right? And so we got one major, you know, we have, we have eight major moon phases within the cycle, but we're coming up on the last quarter moon phase in Capricorn. And that's what those questions were helping you to do to just stay focused, stay focused. I also gave you some things that you can do during this waning gibbous moon phase, again, to help you to stay focused. This one in particular, this last quarter moon in particular, is um, the enemy is working extra hard to make sure people don't close out cycles. Now that the the we had a full moon um, in Libra and it was a pink moon, and that pink also represented removing off removing um, rose colored glasses off, right? Removing those rose colored glasses. It it the the energy that I'm picking up on, and by the way, Aquarius, I filmed another video for you all, but the camera cut off. So if you still want to see that, I'm gonna label it cut off because I know somebody's gonna say somebody's gonna see it. They're not gonna see this video. They're gonna see that video and go, did the video cut off? What was the last part? I'm telling you right now in this video, the previous one that I filmed for you, I can kind of sort of give you just kind of like a little bit of what I was already talking about in that video when I saw like somebody is going through a tower moment. It could be several people that are going through a tower moment. They're going through the energy that they sent out to the universe coming back to them and they are enraged. I mean, literally obsessed with trying to burn you, burn your reputation, burn everything down, Aquarius. So again, if you all want to see the video, let me know. I'll, um, I will upload it, but it'll be labeled you know, um, partial video, partial video. Um, in that video also... I kind of gave you an example about um, the character Hammond in the Bible and the book of Esther, a little bit about um, how somebody's plans actually backfired on them. So if you, again, if you want to see the video, let me know. This is a new video. This is a new video again. This is dated the 10th of April through the 10th of May. Let's get into it. If you haven't had an opportunity to watch uh, Sunday's video, please go back and watch it. It is dated the 9th of April through the 9th of May. All right, Aquarius, let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say. First card out of the deck is the Ten of Cups. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Moon card. Mm -hmm. We have the Knight of Wands and also the Judgment card. Something in your past that you broke away from, like you broke generational cycles, chains, and curses, this has been a very powerful transformation for you. And so something from your past is trying to rear your it rear its ugly head. But see how something that was overwhelming for you, something that was already tricky. It could have been a tricky family relationship where I love this person, but their energy is foul and I just don't want to have anything to do with it. Something is trying to rear its ugly head, right? And so it can be coming in, you know, through your dreams, through downloads or whatever it is, Aquarius. But again, something is trying to rear its ugly head and I'm seeing judgment in your favor. So again, um, <clears throat> tricky relationship could have been a tricky romantic relationship, could have been a tricky uh, family relationship, could have been a tricky friendship, what Whatever it is, but something is trying to rear its ugly head. And so here we have the ten of um, the ten of cups. We also have the six of pentacles. Some kind of an approval is coming your way, Aquarius. We also have the four of pentacles, and we also have the nine of wands. Right. So when I look at your cards here, like I said before, this is going to be a complete video. I'm trying to keep my Monday videos in particular 15 minutes, 15 20 minutes tops, because Monday's videos are an extension of Sunday's videos. Right. And for those of you all who have been with me from the very beginning, I originally would do three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, or either Sunday. I'm, I'm trying, I think Monday's videos were added on like Monday motivational videos, which it originally started as shorts. But so I give you all like a, in a full video on Monday. So we do four videos a week. So anyway, um, when I look at this, someone has definitely gotten to a place of peace place of peace, a place of harmony within yourselves, where you feel that you know how to protect your own inner child. You don't feel vulnerable like you once did before, right? And so breaking some kind of a generational cycle chain curse, you know, for somebody, somebody may have felt like they were by themselves for a while. But see, depending on how much trauma you went through down at a lower frequency, having to interact with certain people, sometimes you start getting used to being by yourself. You get used to like, okay, I don't have any 
drama around me. I haven't been invited to things. I don't want to go to certain things. I don't want to interact. And things become clearer and clearer and clearer at a higher frequency. It's like, okay, I've been elevated, right? Once I felt like I was in a zombified state, I feel like I've been resurrected, right? I feel like um, I feel again, that kind of thing. We're talking about, we're talking about feelings. We're talking about, I feel, I feel, um, I feel inspired again. I feel joy I get again. I feel like my, my sacral chakra is healthy again. Right. And so something, some kind of unhealthy codependent relationships, it could have been codependent relationships in the family, codependent relationships in a romantic situation, codependent friendships are starting to try to resurface. Okay. Aquarius. But again, source is saying you've already broken this cycle. Now it's time during this waning gibbous moon. If you didn't do it before, it's time to do it again. Here we have, uh, or it's time to do it. Here we have, um, during the waning gibbous moon, I gave you all this on Sunday's reading, but you can write down what you want to burn, what you want to let go of, and you can burn it. You can also make moon water, right? You can look online to see how to make moon water and what's this, the purpose of it. You can also do a cleansing ritual bath. You can also cleanse your home and your space. You can also write down all the things that you're thankful for, and you can reflect on your goals of what you need to do to reach those goals so that you can continue making sure sure your inner child is protected. So during the last quarter moon phase in any moon cycle, the enemy has a, a vested interest in you not closing out the cycle so that you can keep on with this, this, this mindset of doubt, fear, uncertainty about your own future if you close out cycles. But remember, we had a full moon in Libra, which is one of your sister signs. And Libra is, Libra's uh, symbol is scales of, ba uh, scales of justice. It's about balance, balancing out your your personal life and your professional life. And so something trying to re come, the judgment card came out again, something trying to rear its head from your past um, it that was already overwhelming for you is threatening your inner child. It's like threatening to, um, threatening to um, throw your scales out of balance again, right? And so... Even if you don't see a physical manifestation of something, you don't want to keep giving life to it. You don't want to keep giving air to it. So the best way that you can do that, Aquarius, is to stay in your light. That's where the healing is. That's where clarity is. We have the Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles and also the King of Cups, right? All right, the King of Cups. This person is king of their emotions, king of their creativity, king of their joy. Like, you have such a... Like I said, because you've broken, this is this represents a major powerful transformation both in your personal life and your professional life, which means that you have closed out. You have initiated closing out cycles, Aquarius. And so when, when people realize that you're never coming back and they realize that they that you that if for, from your standpoint, you're not holding a grudge, you're not angry with anybody, you just are not on that lower frequency anymore. And so you're handling things a lot differently, right? So here we have the three of pentacles and also the queen of pentacles. This is how people see you. They see you as down to earth, very relatable, someone that they can connect with, you know, so you're not, you don't come across as a person who is, you know, making your money, but you're looking down on people. You don't come across as a per, if a person opened up and shares the certain things with you, like you're so emotionally disconnected. You're like, oh my God, you went through that. Like some of you all have really been down in the trenches emotionally. So then when people come across your path, you're, you're relatable. Everything is in alignment for you when it comes to your root chakra, right? So somebody feels secure. Somebody feels stable now. Somebody feels, and this is because you've taken the, you've taken the leap of faith to break away from some things and also close out cycles. So, um, they certainly would not get the same you, the person who cried easily, because I'm seeing right here water, the person who, you know, came across as unstable or insecure or lack of career success or lack, lack of prosperity or somebody who is disloyal. They would not get them, them trying to project themselves onto you because they can't touch you emotionally, physically, they can't touch you. Right. And so here we have the, um, the seven of cups. And so source is saying to you, you had your Kundalini experience, right? And so the only way that something can come back through your water 
is if you're sitting there giving life to it. You're sitting there giving life to it. The moment something comes across your mind about something, remember, you've already sabotaged yourself in the past. This is self-sabotage, right? You've already sabotaged yourself in the past. You're already on the other side of something. Remember, time is relative. So even if it keeps coming back up, as often as it comes back up, you're like, okay, I need to do a burn, burning bowl ceremony, a cord cutting ceremony. There is there's information about it on YouTube. You can look up cord cutting ceremony, burning bowl ceremony. It's already on YouTube. Again, what somebody is trying to do, like I said, and again, I'm saying some kind of an approval for somebody. So you don't even have to overthink things. If you really, really start to focus on, when I say write down all the things that you're thankful for, when you start focusing on the things that you're thankful for, like literally taking day by day, every single day, that you're thankful for, that I've broken away from certain things. Um, it's going to start making sense to you when people are still in their own personal hell, why they're trying to resurface. Because they don't understand that they have, they too have the tools within them to break away from their own demons. They do. They have the, and so when I tell you that somebody is looking for your air, they're looking for your water, Aquarius. Again, you're not giving any air or water to what you left behind. Here we have the Five of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Two of Swords. We have the Page of Wands and also the Ace of Swords. So uh, Nine of Pentacles lets me know financial independence here. The you in the past could have felt like you were left out of some things. This is the number five and how you do things differently. Now, you may have felt like in certain, certain areas in your life right now, you may feel like you're left out of things. But Source is saying to you, you're not left out in the cold. Don't go back to using your emotions as a crutch because you're moving towards, first of all, this is how people see you sitting on your throne, queen of your, and I'm talking to men and women, Aquarius, right? This is a person who is not only like in a sense, king of their finances, but also a person who is, um, a person who is nurturing someone who is down to earth, very relatable, like uh, queen earth energy, right? Somebody, like I said, down to earth, very relatable. And so if you feel like you're left out of anything, Aquarius, you're not. Source is saying to you, there are some energies that are trying to reconnect with you. That's why they're coming back from your past because they want to reconnect with you. But again, now that the rose colored glasses have been removed and, and you're not in fight mode, right? So a lot of times you see the two of swords, the person is kind of sitting there with their arms, kind of like the swords across their chest with the blindfolds on. They can't see the blessings coming their way. They can't see how people view them because they're so... They're so just kind of stuck in the past, overthinking something from the past. And Source is like, you don't need to overthink anything in the past. All you need to do is get your sword out and cut it out. Just cut out the thinking. Just move on from something, right? And so here we have the Page of Wands and also the Queen of Wands. I see you being happy, charismatic, and free. You know, happy, charismatic, and free. So again, you're on the other side of this long and arduous journey. We also have the page of wands. This is some youthful energy, like some um, new youthful creative ideas coming across your path, Aquarius. So again, like I said before, just keep on moving forward and do not go back to the past. See how this, let me, see how this person here is just kind of standing there. And um, you see a woman because this is divine feminine energy, right? This is moon, moon energy is feminine energy. Um, but this is attached to Pisces. And so again, when I'm seeing for you, um, some of you all may be on the cusp of a Pisces. Some of you all may be on the cusp of, uh, of Capricorn, but whatever it is, I'm seeing judgment in your favor. And so something trying to rear his ugly head, trying to come back up, you know, from your past, something tricky, whether it's in a romantic relationship, family relationship, job relationship, whatever, I'm seeing judgment in your favor judgment in your favor, judgment in your favor, Aquarius. So let's keep it moving forward. So you're not left out of anything. Like I said before, if you felt like you were left out of something, even right now and you're currently in your life having to do with something else that's connected into your life, sources like you're not left out of anything. You don't need to sit around and overthink this. Here we have the four of swords. We have the 10 of pentacles, the knight of swords. Everything is fine. 10 of wands. Um, also the two of wands. All right. Very nice. I see booked and busy for somebody, not bitter and burdened. I see a lot of um, traveling coming up for you. I see you going places, meeting new people. Like I said before, a lot of people see you as this very regal energy. I see you continuing to work on your legacy, Aquarius, and you have ancestors around you trying to help. See this person right here, just kind of off in the corner right here. 
this person that's like often this is an ancestor kind of watching over everything because they're very they're very proud of you like at this at this higher frequency your ancestors are like you know we're so proud of you that you're bringing honor to the family you know and so there will be people again aquarius that will try to pull you back from your own family there will be people that you used to date marry to whatever that will try to resurface there will be people to say all kinds of things to try to um to burn you but guess what there are also people who understand. That's what I think a lot of people just kind of sort of dismiss. There are a lot of people who will understand. So source is saying, get away from the overthinking. See how this person is on this horse? Like I'm getting as far away from this overthinking as possible. And source is like, just get your rest. It's already handled. You've already cut some energies out of your life and everything is fine. Yeah, they probably are, you know, creating all kinds of narratives, all kinds of false narratives. But for you, source is saying, just stay as far away from the overthinking of things, you know, from energies that are, you, you got just as many, you got just, you, the most cards we have out here are pentacles cards. This is a lot of money, a lot of wealth, a lot of security, a lot of stability, a lot of career success, a lot of vitality, loyalty, patience. And so source is saying to you, you're at a higher frequency right now. Some people may feel like they're by themselves or, you know, I, I was hoping and wishing things would be different. That's where this card comes in right here, the temptation. I was hoping things would be different. But remember, time is relative. If people want to remain in there, if they want to keep going back through, you know, this long and arduous journey, that's on them. You're not interested in going back to any of that. And so you just keep on moving forward. You just keep moving forward, keep moving forward, continue moving forward, keep moving forward. Here we have the Emperor card, the Ten of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Page of Swords, the King of Swords, and also Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, God is letting me know somebody's going to be booked and busy. So anything that's trying to resurface from your past that's trying to make you burdened, source is saying release it. Here we have the Seven of Cups twice. So it could be several people, you know, from your past that's trying to get you to sit in that space and be overwhelmed by something. And so source is saying to you, you don't even have to worry about it. Here we have the King of Swords. Page of Swords, again, King Energy is just like we had the, um, yeah, King Energy is a person who is very wise, very knowledgeable about things, but you're wise enough not to give it too much air, to give it too much life. Here we have the Page of Swords. So the anxiety that you may have been feeling about something, Aquarius, will be going away very, very soon. Again, don't forget to watch Sunday's videos. will help you. It's an extension of uh, this video. Again, happy Motivational Monday. This video is dated the 10th of April um, through the 10th of May. The number 10 represents instant manifestation. I have more information about that on the second channel. The link is below. You can instantly manifest the life that you know that you deserve. Ten of Cups came out twice, just like Seven of Cups came out twice. So yeah, this has something to do with somebody's family. It has something to do with somebody's family trying to trying to bring some things up. Remember, um, trying to disrupt your peace. And so you know to be near bodies of water, take spiritual showers, spiritual baths, those kind of things, um, and to just continue not giving as much air to it as you would have, you know, um, in the past. And again, if you want to see the uh, earlier video that cut off, then let me know. I will make sure that it is labeled. The video has been cut off. <laughs> okay. Here we have the 10 of pentacles, the 10 of wands again. Wow. Triple booked and busy, right? Okay. 10 of wands again, came out three times, tri triple booked and busy. Source is really trying to make somebody very wealthy. That's why we have the 10 of pentacles came out twice. Again, double legacy here. So no one of the, and then also the nine of pentacles, financial independence. No one of the enemy really, really is trying to rear its ugly head. Here we have the eight of, eight of, um, the eight of swords twice. Like somebody really, really from your past wants to see you committed. Like somebody really wants to see you in a straight jacket. They really want to. It's like they are obsessed. And the sad thing about it is that they're coming from. Let me see. The sad thing about it is that they, like I said, people know how hard you've worked to get as far away from certain things. Here we have the Four of Swords and also the Ace of Pentacles. I thought I said Four of Swords. Yeah, Four of Swords came out twice. Swords is like, you know what? Just get your rest. Just go ahead and rest and let God handle it. You got a lot of ancestors around you. Aquarius is handling the situation already. We have the Ace of Pentacles. 
And so you've already been working really, really hard. You got this out of the mud. You got a lot of expansion all around you. Here's a three. I thought I saw the three of wands before. So yeah, we saw the three. We have the three of wands. See all of this expansion. All of this water right here represents your creativity, your joy, your, you know, you're kind of standing on. See how this person is like, see if you can get in like real close. See how this person is standing here and they look, they see expansion all around them. They just see like, wow, I have the whole world in front of me. I'm ready to travel, meet new people, be tripped, triple booked and busy. Lots of great things coming across their path. And like some something from your past is, like I said, trying to really, really resurface. And mm, like I said, source says, just get your rest. Get your rest. You already know what it is. You already know who it is exactly. Somebody's trying to disrupt your inner, your, your peace. It looks like also somebody may have felt very vulnerable, you know, in their own childhood. And... Um, One of the things that I'm picking up on, and again, I'm trying not to uh, extend this video, is what, like somebody feeling vulnerable. Here we have the um, the sink with the moon, which, and then we have 51. Um, somebody's mother, somebody's mother, somebody's mother is stirring the pot with something. Now, if you have a great relationship with your mom, you know I'm not talking about your mom. Only take what resonates with you. But somebody's mother is left somebody feeling very vulnerable and it's almost like they're trying to protect their themselves right and just getting everybody stirred up around them and again like i said before aquarius burning bowl ceremony cut the cut the do a cord cutting ceremony it could have been your mom it could have been somebody who was like a mom to you it could have been um a lot of people have like aunts or you know, family, friends, that's like moms to you, but it was just like a mom figure, you know, somebody who is, feels some kind of way about something. And so sources like move on from that reframe. This is happening for me, not to me. So it's a gift. Something is a gift trying to get you to just move on, do some kind of a cord cutting ceremony, completely cut somebody out of your life for good, you know, and move on. Right. So that's what Source is trying to do, because you're building a legacy. You're building a legacy of financial independence. Everything is in perfect alignment for you. Approvals are coming your way. Does have something having to do with money. It could be a house. It could be, you know, more money coming your way from something else. But something is coming. But a time to give rather than a time to take. Remember the last cycle that we had, Aquarius? It was in Virgo. Last full moon that we had was in Virgo. This is before. Obviously, we had a full moon in Libra on the 6th. But before, when we had a full moon in Virgo, that reminded everybody that you're good enough, that you're whole without other people's drama. Right. People holding on to secrets because somebody has had somebody from your past has a secret that they don't want out and you're on a wholly, a totally different frequency. You could care less about whatever secret somebody's holding on to. You're just moving on. You're just like, I'm, I'm just moving on from something like you want to hold on to a secret, hold on to whatever secret you want to. I want no parts of it at all. None whatsoever. So the certain energies from your past keep coming up in your spirit, having to do with your family. And Source is trying to get you to go ahead and close out the cycle airtight, close it out airtight and move on, move on with your life. Because somebody definitely does not want a secret out, right? And so they'll use anything as a distraction. Somebody will use anything as a distraction to make sure that their secret doesn't get out and you're not even in that in, on that energy. You could care less about somebody's secret. You matter of fact, you don't want to have anything to do with certain people. So here we have, ask for a response. So... The one that you're asking for response is from source, from source. You know, if you, if you feel like, why does this keep coming up in my spirit? You can always ask God, like, why does it keep coming up in my spirit? Do I still have something in my house? Do I still have text messages, emails? Do I have anything connected to that as to why it keeps coming up in my spirit? Some people keep doing uh, burning bowl ceremonies and cord cutting ceremonies and visualization and things keep coming up because there still could be something left you know, that you're physically connected to. Here we have 99. I am courageous. So it is time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power. 99, right? 99, 99. So it's your, the number nine is a death rebirth number. And we also see this right here. So like I said, it could be two people in particular in your family. That source is saying to you, it's time to go ahead and break 
completely break free of them, close out that cycle particularly because their energy will keep trying to come. It's like a, it's like a bullying energy. It's a very manipulative energy. It's a, you know, the, whatever it is, source is saying it's time to release them all together. It's time to completely release them all together. And somebody is definitely the ring leader in all of it. And source is saying, just, just get as far away. So that double nine is a rebirth for you. Like you've made a powerful transformation in your life and something is still at a lower frequency. So here we have stress, affirmations for stress. These are things you can say to yourself. I release what I cannot control. I release tension in my body. I unclench my jaw and I mean, I relax my jaw and unclench my teeth. I allow my shoulders to be heavy. I breathe in gratitude and exhale pressure. Stress is temporary. I welcome stress-free days in my life. I'm into my life. I am counting my blessings. Great things are happening to me. They are happening to you. Remember the waning gibbous moon phase, Aquarius, is a time to reflect on some things that you're grateful that you've manifested. A lot of people have manifested breaking free of generational cycles, chains, and curses. And so that one, you want to make sure that is at the forefront of your mind. Like I've broken free of those things. And while you may wish things were different, you're going to have to get used to it being out of your mind altogether, completely away from you. The waning gibbous moon phase is also associated with decreasing, banishing, repelling, cleansing away any negativity, breaking all um, hexes and curses. This is a great time to um, um, even um, disassociating yourself from things that just, like I said before, would jeopardize. Would, this is not just money. There's a lot of money. We also have the emperor card here too. There could be an Aries and a Pisces involved here that you're just deciding I need to go ahead and part ways with, or they could be on the cusp of Aries or Pisces. Um, um Cusp of Aries or Pisces could be um, a Pisces on a cusp of Aries, a Pisces that's on the cusp of Aquarius. Um, it could also, because this is the beginning of the zodiac signs and Pis Aries is the beginning of the zodiac sign and Pisces is also the end of the zodiac sign. It can also be uh, um, Aries on the cusp of Taurus as well. So whatever it is that you've broken away from, like I said, something started in somebody's family feeling uncovered and unprotected and very vulnerable, but it could also be happening outside of your family situation as well, right? Where um, that thing could have transferred over to somebody else in your family feeling unprotected, uncovered, very vulnerable, right? But again, remember, you're away from all of that. You're on a different frequency from all of that. And it's trying to threaten your legacy. It's also trying to threaten your wealth. The Ten of Pentacles is, um, just like I said before, legacy. Legacy wealth. Legacy, legacy, legacy. And this Nine of Pentacles is letting me know financial independence. And both of them are financial independence. Everything is in perfect alignment for you. Again, somebody is, um, another thing that I'm seeing here is an opportunity for a job coming across somebody's path and sources saying, take it because there's new money coming across your path. So you may have felt like you were left out of something. So even if you apply for a job on, online Aquarius and you haven't heard back, you reach out to them, check the status, check the status of the job application, check it, just find out you're not being left out of things. Source is really trying to trying to help you at a higher frequency to not just sit there and wait for something to come to you and just let your mind float off into something else in your universe that still has access to your universe. Don't check out. Don't check out, Aquarius. Keep on ascending higher. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. But that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Um, affirmation card. We got the affirmation card. We got everything, the number card and everything. That is what I have for you. Let me just make sure I got everything, 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 everything. Yep, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Like I said, source is saying reframe, not refrain, reframe. This is happening for you, not to you, right? So something is a gift to you. To you. And again, if somebody has been, you know, hovering at a lower frequency, just kind of like nervous and wondering, you know, what is this? What is this? What is this? Source is saying it's time for you to close it out. It's time for you to initiate change. Like I said, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. It's a cardinal sign. So that's like put some fire up under yourself. Aries is the, the last sign in the zodiac. Close out this cycle. And also this last quarter moon in Capricorn is also about closing out cycles. But it's the 
it's the uh, Capricorn is the father of the Zodiac. So it's like, get more authoritative, take more, get, you know, it's your responsibility to close something out. Judgment is in your favor. You don't have anything to worry about. You're at a higher frequency right now. It's just time to go ahead and close out some cycles. So that is what I have for you. I will, um, I will see you all on Wednesday. Bye.